Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm just going to show a few new recipes of how to do s build stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. And so first I'm going to show you guys how to build a bed. I just found a f bunch of wool lying around from uh, far away in this like in the edge of the woods that I live next to. So yeah, just beds are just three woods and three wool on top of them. So now I just built two beds just because I'm like, why not? And now I got two beds. I'm probably gonna, I'm just going to put one in my chest for later in case I need one. And I sort of expanded the top of this. Now let me just show how beds work. So you right click on a bed. Oh. So then you just lie here and it just, it w you wake up and it's the morning. See? No more scary monsters outside. And see, the crops are going well. I harvested the sugar cane so there's none left there. But the main thing I want to show you is glass and, like, dyes, which is why I have some wool here. So, yeah, for it's just the same tool as n normal dirt. Shovel. Shovel makes it really quick to get to this. So yeah. Just mine a bunch of glass. So yeah, it looks like my glass and my shovel's out. So I'm just gonna go back and get some glass. To make glass you have to put it in the smelter, which is your furnace, and it'll turn it into glass. There's a few recipes you can use that like help it and work, make it better and faster. Oh look, I got nine ingots here. So, well, I already got some coal there, but anyway, now I did that. And now to use dyes, looks like I have, so an ink sack, that's like a uh, dark dye. Rose red, that's just a rose. You just stick it in the crafting bench anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And you get two rose red dye. So now I'm only going to really take two kinds of dyes. And then I'm going to put wool there. And with next to an ink sack makes it black wool. And next to a uh, rose thing it makes it red wool. So now these wools look a lot better than just normal wool. Just going to put it outside my house because, I mean, like that might look cool. Like that. I don't know. It just it looks okay. And then now the glass should be continued cooking. And now, so yeah, glass. I'm just going to leave a few left there, whatever. And now I have glass. And five glass. Oh, wait, no, I need six. That's lame. Uh, so now six glass. You stick it in a pattern like this. And that makes glass panes. And then get your axe just to make little windows in your house. Because, I mean, windows look cool. A lot better than just plain wood. That's dark and looks pretty ugly. Oh, that's really annoying. So, yeah, now um, put your glass in there. I guess I'm going to put another one over here. And then some glass there and there. So yeah, three windows should look good for one for one story if there's a pretty small house. Yeah, and I started building a second story, which I'm going to make windows on also. One of those woods fell out the door, but that doesn't really matter at all. I'm eventually going to transform this house into a better better looking, but for now this looks perfectly fine. So, yeah, just cut a few holes in the wall and make it in, and put some glass there. Looks like I'm running out of glass panes, so I'm going to... So, yeah, then place the glass here. And it looks nice, actually. 
Looks like I ran out. I'm gonna make some more ladders too. I'm gonna take that. Place the rose red and the iron and guts there. Let's make some ladders just because we need ladders to get up to the top of our house. Which is eventually gonna look a lot better but than it is does now. So yeah, now we got six more ladders. That'll allow us to get to the top to like continue making it look better. Wait, I should probably get the glass from over here. Yeah, I got nine glass here. No idea why I just got XP from that. I guess glass gives you XP now also. Though I thought it was just ores. So yeah, I get 16 more glass panes. And that is enough. Uh, we already, f well no, here you still have this. So now we got another 14 random glass panes. We're just gonna stick it in our chest. We should probably expand the chest at some point, but for now I think this is fine. One double chest. And yeah. So now, now it looks pretty cool. As long as the recipe, I think. Oh, let's get that wood. Yeah, so now I'm going to go through a few armor things to get build ar building armor and stuff, which I think is pretty cool because it reduces damage, and like redu reducing damage is pretty awesome. So then you can actually go fight zombies because right now I don't think we're tough enough to fight zombies at all. So yeah, 19, so let's make a chest, an iron chest plate, which is just iron like this, every place except for that top part. Just take an iron chest plate. I think then iron leggings, which is like that. And then four, that's just enough to make iron boots. So now we have a full suit of armor except for the helmet, which I guess we're going to just make out of leather. Not ideal, but... It looks pretty cool. Leather is awesome. I think we can turn leather different colors in 1.4. So let me just test that. Stick it in the crafting bench with some rose red dye. Oh look, and so there's now there's a leather cap that's dyed. Just put it on. Looks pretty cool. And now I got full armor. That is actually pretty awesome. Now let's go get some more wool and dyes next time so I can show you some of what the other dyes look like. Goodbye. Please like and subscribe.